On a graphing calculator, entering in a negative exponent is a lot like entering in a negative number. If I want to enter in 2 to the negative fourth value, I start by entering in 2. Then I'm going to use this little button right here. It looks like a little um, arrow pointing up. I press that. And that allows me now to start entering in exponents. If my exponent is negative 4, I do not touch the subtraction sign. Instead, I use the negative sign down here. So if I want to enter in 2 to the negative 4th, I enter in 2, the upper arrow here, and then the negative sign, and then 4, right? And I've got it. So I press enter, and then it will give me that value as a decimal. So the key is, of course, to use whatever base you want, start with that number, then the upper arrow, then the negative sign, and whatever exponent you're looking for, and press enter, and it will evaluate it for you. All right, hope this helped.